What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of these programming users TV courses. So in this course, we're going to learn about how to create, of course, a daily chores application writer. And we're going to use several modern technologies, including Room, MVVM, of course, View Model, as well as the live data. Okay, so in the process, this is the app that you're going to create. We're going to learn, this is a full application writer. It's an app, of course, that you can install in your device straight away and start using it. You can share it with your friends. You can also edit it because the code that you're going to write is very maintainable and editable because you're going to use the MVVM design pattern and create, of course, an app that you can easily extend. So basically, this app is going to have several components. For example, first in the splash screen, as this beautiful splash screen is being shown, we're going to load our data, of course, right here in the background thread, okay? So once you've loaded our data, then we're going to hold it in memory. Then, of course, we're going to filter based on the date. So you can see this app we're able to filter. So this is a productivity application, meaning that you can use the app to, of course, plan your day to day, of course, for 122 days at least, okay? Now that is extendable, but you can see, for example, you can plan all the way up to November. So you can plan day by day right here. And of course, okay, so you can come right here. If I come back to today, then it brings us to the date today. So it's able to automatically recognize the date. So if, for example, today is 14th, it will automatically select 14th if it is 15th. Okay, so this is it right here. So basically, you can also go back and view, of course, the other dates. So you can go ahead, view, for example, the tasks. For example, we started recording on 8th Thursday right here. So these were the tasks that were done. Now you can see if a task is done, it's actually marked with this checkbox, okay? So these are the tasks that were actually done on Thursday. Then these are the ones that were not able to do. So if you want to edit a task or you want to mark it as not done, you can just come and have right here, mark it as not done. So the moment you mark it as not done, you can see it's going to be added to this particular section for not done. Okay. Now, if we come back here on the archive, you can still scroll view. Now, in this archive, we are viewing all our tasks and we are arranging them of course, we are sorting them based on the dates, as you can see. So you can see, for example, the one that we just edited. So another way, if you wanted to edit it, you can just come right here and have this one. Okay, for example, I can come, change this one to show, and then click update. Okay, then it's being updated. So if we scroll back to the 8th, then we are able to find it right here okay so if i want to mark it as done all i can come do and then mark it as done so basically this is a productivity app it allows you to plan of course your day to day daily okay you can edit the past that's you can also of course add of course the choice that you're going to perform of course in the future so for example if you want to go back to the saturday you can just come to Saturday, no, this one we've already done. So if you want to go back to the next Saturday, all we need to do is to scroll to Saturday, and then we come right here, which some spots. So this is the, the, the task that we're going to perform on that particular day right there, okay? So if we want to go to the Sunday, we can come and then add another chore right here. Something like this, okay? So you can keep, okay? So you can see, basically with the app, you are able to plan your days day by day, and then you are able to analyze. For example, so far, we've already done three tasks, and we're yet to do these other six. So if I want to mark a task as done, all I need to come, click it, and mark it as done, okay? Now, not only can we do that one, but if I click, we can also clone okay so if you want to clone 
we can come and then just click clone so cloning an item basically means that you create another copy so like in this case you can see we have two copies of this one so i can then come and then if i want to delete this one or mark it as not done i can come mark it as done then if i want to edit it okay we can come and just slide it this way and then come and edit it so if i want to add something greater i can just come add it and then click update and that is going to update it you can see it if i want to delete you can just slide it and then come click delete and it gets deleted future okay that is for today so you can take note from this one if you move to another day then the today is being shown for us which allow us to come back of course to today right here okay so these are very important app because this is an app that you can use straight away in your phone you can share it with friends you can also modify it and then upload it to play store right here you don't need internet connectivity to use the app it's offline all you just need to do is to install it and then start using it okay so it's going to it's a productivity app which you can use to plan your days for 120 days if you want to change that one to a larger number you can also do it in the source code and we'll show you guys how to do that one okay so this is it this is the app that you're going to create and in the process you're going to learn how to create a fully functional app using room um using mvvm design pattern we're going to learn some of the jetpack components like of course as you said room like the view model like the live data so we're going to learn all this right here okay so this is part of our android room courses and this is just the first course that we're going to do right here so take the course and of course i'll be right there to assist you guys if you have any problem you can also you'll also be able to download the source code and also, i'll also be releasing the updates for this particular course in the future so take the course right now and if you have any question you can leave us down in the discussion box right there so if you want to exit the app you can just come click exit okay yeah so that's it let's start